Hello all, with this video I want to share 3 courses that helped me very much to become a never stop data scientist. Now I am taking a role as data scientist at IBM, working with computer vision, data processing, visualization and much more around, and never stop learning. So I think I have some experience that let me provide you some advices if you are still thinking to learn machine learning and Python programming for data science and if you are going to just to start this amazing journey. The first course that I want to introduce is 10 real world application in Python. This is the course I began my journey to Python programming. One friendly advice. Do not skip any lesson here, even if you think you know this topic. Many keys about this course. The added tools introduce the topics in a very detailed way and explain important points very well. The course includes even 10 very different topics in which you will have to create a small application or algorithms that you can adopt for real life project, not even for data science. Choose one or two topics in this course and dive deeper with your own ideas. This will help you to create your unique portfolio project. The lesson really helps to get a job. In my experience, web scraping was the key I enjoyed the most in this course and uh, the provided intuition uh, for the great start and then I got a job at international company taking a role as data analyst. The course is periodically updated, so if there are some important updates on models or packages that are included in the course, the instructor make additional notes. Almost all the context is based on not theory or math takes a significant place here. I found the best approach to work with Python database, Flask application, deploying in Heroku, creating a Tkinter graphic user interfaces and introducing to computer vision right here in this course. And what you really like in this course? You can find a very specific project ideas that you're not going to find very easily in another courses. For example, motion detector. The second course is provided by superdatascience.com by two great persons, Kirill Ermenko and Hedelinda Pondivis. And this is a huge course, roughly 40 hours material including almost all practical machine learning concepts from a simple linear regression to NLP and even Boltzmann machines. I always come back to this course if we want to check with some algor algorithms or with purpose to find an explanation of some metrics, for example cross entropy. Kirill explains intuition for every concept very well in a very straightforward way, why Hetelin provided a very well explained practical tutorials that come after Kirill's theoretical part. All tutorials are based on step by step style. This lets you follow the actions made on tutorial why do the same on your site very easily. And good is that practical tutorials are split into Python and R part, depend on what you are going to learn, or even both. Some key points that I want to tell you about this course. This course is perfect to jump to machine learning world very quickly if you are little familiar with Python. If you have fully finished all lessons, you will get a quite good intuition about main machine learning algorithms and required practical skills for your first job at and artificial intelligence or data science. Very active community in questions and answer section. In my experience, I got answer to my questions in one or maximum in two days. The codes can be easily adopted to real life projects. In my experience, I adopted random forest algorithm in my last job as data scientist in real estate uh, industry. All tutorials are appropriate very small steps that you can understand smaller parts in coding without a rush. Theoretical part is very well explained in very simple words by Kirill Adamenko. No copy paste content from another courses. If any of element is taken from outside, the reference or link to additional readings is added. 
next and final course that are the most advanced and fully dedicated to deep learning. Yes, this is a deep learning specialization in Coursera. This specialization consists of five courses. Neural Network and Deep Learning, Improving Deep Neural Network, Hyperparameter Tuning, Regularization at, and Optimization, Structuring Machine Learning Project, Convolutional Neural Networks, and Sequence Models. You can find hundreds of feedbacks for this specialization in Internet. I completed full specialization in more than three months. For some of you, it seems like quite long period. Why my pace on this specialization was so slow? Because I rewrote almost all meaningful Andrew and G sentences and schemas into my papers by my hands. Just take a look at this. Why I did it? Because the specialization is very complex, full of mathematical formulas and theoretical approaches. Each of course has its labs where you can demonstrate your practical skills on specific tasks. Writing everything on your paper led me to better memorize the details and make additional notes, connect the points between different topics or even courses in this specialization. I recommend to take this specialization if you are sure to dive deep into the world of deep learning, computer vision or basically in artificial intelligence. Personally, for me, the most valuable courses in this specialization were hyperparameter tuning with regularization and optimization and convolutional neural network. I am using this material in today's work at IBM. That the top three courses and specialization from my experience. You can think differ to any of these, so feel free to leave positive or negative comment about each of them. And only one thing what I want to tell you at the end of this video. Never take any courses just to get a certification only. This is nothing. The practical skills and understanding is everything. I have taken many courses from Udemy and other sources that did not finish because I took such courses such for specific information to get. And that's all. For example, I took time series forecasting course on Udemy from Joe Sportilla just to take a look at the multi-wary time series prediction and intuition of autocorrelation. That I'm going to make a special video tutorial about in future. That was enough for me. So, my big recommendation, have a goal and direction. See you on the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.